Breaking right now at four, dozens of people are hurt, three critically after a CTA train crash on the city's north side. The train slammed into a piece of equipment sitting on the tracks just before 11 this morning. At one point, more than 15 ambulances were called to the scene to treat the injured. We have team coverage on today's crash. Jermont Terry is at Illinois Masonic Hospital where some of the victims are being treated. Chris Habermill is in Chopper 2 over the rail yard to give us a perspective on this crash from the sky. We want to start with CBS 2's Noel Brennan. He's live in Rogers Park to tell us how this unfolded. Fold it. No. Marie, 31 people were on board that train, and every single one of them was injured. We still have several unanswered questions from the CTA. As people recover from a morning commute, they're not going to forget. 24th District, and they're thinking of a train crash on a yellow line, 7519 Polina. It happened just after 10:30 this morning. We had 31 civilians on the train. We had seven CTA employees. A yellow line, Skokie Swift two-car train, was traveling south near the Howard Station in Rogers Park. And it ran into what they call a snow fire. It's a machine they use to clear the tracks of snow in the wintertime. The train rear-ended the heavy piece of equipment that, for some reason, which CTA has not explained, was sharing the same track. It is a question for CTA. We can't answer what they have there. 38 people were hurt, including passengers and seven CTA employees. 23 people were sent to the hospital, three with critical injuries. There are bumps and bruises on some, and some had no obvious injuries, but still wanted to go and be evaluated. A Chicago Fire Department spokesperson says one person operating the snow fire machine was seriously hurt. We made sure that we got all the passengers off the train. Getting passengers off the train was not easy. I'll tell you what, it was a very uh, hard thing to do for the firemen because they had to go up and down these embankments carrying people on the rocks. Some were carried away on stretchers off the train that never made it to its destination. We got them all out. Guys did a great job, I tell you, they really did. The Chicago Fire Department says those three people with critical injuries are all expected to survive, and the NTSB is now launching an investigation to look into exactly what went wrong this morning. Reporting live in Rogers Park, Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News.